welcome to this tutorial series or course or whatever YouTube is calling it these days on orchestrating in MuseCore. So what is the purpose of this course? Why are you here? Ideally, I want you to be learning the basics of MuseCore. And the best way I can think to do that is with a practical project. And so we're going to do an orchestration project where we take this piano piece, Pantalon, by Mrs. H.H.A. Beach, Opus 25, number three. Uh, this is written for piano, and we will be orchestrating it for a full orchestra. And hopefully it'll sound something like this. see it's got parts, it's got a full score, it is all neatly laid out um, and it's all beautifully orchestrated. So we're going to turn this into that. And along the way I hope we're going to get to lots of the basics of using MuseScore and we'll get to a whole bunch of different techniques of using MuseScore uh, and through the process of doing this project. This is intended for people who know how to read music. Uh, if you don't know how to read music yet I'm sure you can find some tutorials on the internet, on YouTube. Um, but this is for people who do already know how to read music and are looking to use MuseScore. I'm sure there's a lot of musicians and music teachers out there, and some of you perhaps have not used MuseScore before, and so this is really for you. This might also be for someone who knows MuseScore and you just want to get some good tips uh, and some good workflow things. Maybe you're finding it takes you, it's a bit slow. Um, hopefully this will help you with that as well. I have set this up as a complete course that you can follow along with me, um, and we'll be working together through this project and hopefully you'll be able to create that project by the end as well. If you are a little bit more advanced and you're not just a beginner in MuseScore, feel free to follow along with this, uh, but also feel free to maybe have your own project on the side that you're busy with uh, as we're going through these things and you can apply some of the principles that we're learning rather than just copying exactly what I'm doing. And perhaps you're really advanced and you need to skip some of the early sessions, in which case you can just go and jump around to the sections that you find are going to be most useful. And so to facilitate that, I'm making sure to leave all the resources that we have uh, for a particular tutorial video. I'll make a Google Drive and I'll put a link to that in the description of every video so that you can go to just that section that you need and follow along with the tutorial no matter where you have stopped or have started in this tutorial series. All right, so let's get going. Chapter one, let's download and install MuseCore. 